All right, so how to find an element in an array? How hard can it be? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not that hard, and I'm pretty sure you've done it a million times already. Um, I just want to make sure that you don't make the same mistake as others, where they don't use the most efficient find algorithm, okay? There are some things that you can improve maybe on your find algorithm, and here are three improvements that you can do for your uh, find algorithm. So let's start off with the first version, right? First iteration of the find algorithm. Here it is. So I start with an I, we declare a found index here and we, we initialize it to minus one to, su to suggest that, well, we didn't find anything yet. And then we start the for loop for equals zero, I less than N, I plus plus, N is the size by the way of the array we want to find in our array, which has five elements right here, we want to find the value seven. Okay, so we say if r of i equals seven, then what? Well, some people, what they do is say found index equals i. Okay, and then at the end here it says if found, found index equals equals minus one, then we print f what? Nothing found, bummer. Next slash n. Else, we did find something and we can actually print. So found element sev seven at index percent d. And we know the uh, found index is here. All right, this algorithm is simple enough, uses two variables, all right. And we check if it was found later on. If we try to run this, we get, we get that if we found element seven at index four. Well, yeah, that's because we, we probably found it firstly at the index, at index one, but then, but then we iterated it over here, here, and we found it again later on. So we might want to add a uh, condition here so if we get the first occurrence of that element right so you say found index equals equals minus one right if we didn't find it yet save that index so now we get only the first occurrence but this is not the most efficient algorithm not by quite a lot actually now first let's take a look at this thing right you don't have to check if found index is minus one simply because you can just delete this condition and just say break at the end of the if. And what break does, it says, oh, am I in a for loop? Well, yes, then get out of the for loop fast. Okay, and he gets out of the for loop without, without this condition being false. It just kind of uh, breaks out of the for loop. Okay, and now if you notice, this algorithm would work the same way, but there's a key difference here which you won't notice if you work with uh, small arrays. The time it takes to use this find algorithm is much smaller than um, the one before it without a break because we go over the first element, we check if R of first element is seven, it's not. We go over the second one and we say, oh, R of I is seven. Give me that founding index and break out of the for loop and the for loop is not, not executed anymore. And these three elements are not iterated over. Okay, so that's precious CPU time that we, we actually save by doing this. So make sure you break out of this. All right, so that's the first improvement that you can do. Next up. Well, you see this code? Well, it has two variables, I don't like it. Why does it have two variables? I don't know why, because we can simply delete this thing all together and delete the found index since we won't be using it anymore. Then you ask, well, how do you even check if there was an index found? Well, <clears throat> that's a little bit tricky, but you have to look at um, exactly at how the for loop works, right? So it says, okay, well, i is zero. It's check it checks r of zero. Is that seven? No. Okay, then go forward, I plus plus, I less than N, 
I is less than M. Okay, cool. Then we go R of 1. I is now 1. Is that 7? Well, it is. So break. And it goes over here. And here, the key thing is that I is now at the index that you were looking for, or you were looking beforehand. So I is going to be I is going to be equal to 1, which is amazing, right? Because now we can actually print the element, right? We can say instead of found index, we can say I. But how do we know that we found something, right? Well, if we didn't ever break, this means that we, there's one more way we can get out of this for loop, which is by uh, evaluating this expression to false. Okay? What does that mean? Well, this means that i is higher or equal to n. If that's the case, we didn't ever break and we didn't even ever evaluate this if condition to true. Okay, this means that we didn't find 7. This means that this condition is equivalent to saying found index equals minus 1. So we can say i higher or equal than n. Okay, and now you can actually run this code and what do you know? It gives us the exact same result, which is absolutely great. So that's the second improvement that you can do. Now, <clears throat> you can use this actually to get not only the first occurrence of the element, but also the last one. So you can do i equals n minus 1, i higher or equal than 0, and i plus plus. And that would break, but it would break on the first element from the end, right? Because we're iterating from the end, we don't iterate from the uh, beginning. So I have 11, we get, <clears throat> we get found element 7 at index 4, and that's great. Okay, um, one more mistake I see being used is instead of saying int i equals that, we say found equals 0. And then when we find it, we say found equals 1. Right? As you can see this, and then we check if found is um, 0 here. <clears throat> which is great, which is okay, but we again use an extra variable. Right? So that's not efficient. Don't use the found variable here. Okay, and one more thing is that I see people do is say whatever is in here actually be executed inside the if. This is great if your code is small, if what you want to execute once you found the element is just a small snippet of, of code, but if it has a lot of indentations, you might want to break out of the for loop and just check it here. It's much cleaner this way and I can see what's happening, okay? But if you want to um, do it for every single element that you find in that array, that's a little bit different, okay? So that's about it. <clears throat> I hope you learned something from this. Just make sure you optimize it a little bit. Just make sure you optimize the find um, algorithm a little bit. Um, look at how far the for loop goes. Look at if it's needed to go that far, if it's need, needed to iterate over the array, because if the array were, this array was like a thousand in size, then that would be a problem, okay? So I hope you understand what's happening in this video and you learned something and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.